Hey guys, it's Blind Goofball, back for another episode of the Wave of the Undead Strategy Guide. This is part 5, I believe, and we're going to be using catapults today. Catapults are amazing because they have a range of 3, a dead zone of 2, so they aren't going to be able to hit 2 tiles in front of them, but they can hit up to 5 tiles out because of that range of 3 that they've got, so that's really good. We're going to be placing them behind our mortars. We have 22 gold right now, so we actually have enough for one. They're 12 gold each. So, our first catapult is going to go at 6-7. The reason being 6-7 is because it's again behind our scatter shot, which is always our weakest columns. We're also going to drop a couple of landmines. And let's see if I have anything to repair. Uh, that scatter shot. We will repair that. I like to just repair stuff. And let's start with 18. These guys? 11 health. Health. And there are like three or four of them over. Okay. Yeah, they're mainly on the right side this time. Alright, let's go right now. That was our catapult smashing somebody. Doing massive five damage, by the way. We just snacked some good landmine. Catapult. Nice. And the rest of our defenses are just now in range, so here we go. Yeah, we got. We killed some. Here they come. Ow, he hit our scatter shot. He pays. They pay for hitting that scatter shot now. <laughs> See, the nice thing about the uh, catapult is because it, it can hit up to row two. So it's really able to get a range. I'll just wait over here, because now we've cleared out most of them. Yeah, let's just flip our defense and do the work for us. Uh, yeah, he's, he's dead wherever he moves. 22 gold again. Catapult. At 3-7. And that is really nice. Let's drop a landmine. Another landmine. Let's repair that scatter shot. Let's repair that mortar. Now what I was doing there is using the all defenses menu to look at things health. I don't think I've showed that before, but I use the all defenses menu sometimes to show health of defenses. And it allows me to figure out what needs repairing without scrolling through them all. Well, scrolling through them a bit more organized. The corners are really bad. Four at eight one. Four at one one. So let's head over there. Ooh, where am I? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, it's really hard for zombies to get to our scatter shots now, because those catapults, plus the landmines and mortars and cannons and everything else that's firing on them, makes it really tricky. So, we've cleared out a row. Oh, that many zombies over here. Our scatter shot just got hit. Ow! Uh, well, I know he's dead, but <laughs> that's besides the point. He's dead also. 23 gold! So, guess what? Another catapult. We'll put this one at 8-7. If you haven't noticed yet, I have a pattern of placing defenses. I always put them behind the scatter shots first because those are the weakest. And then I put them on the corners because they're the weakest. And then I slowly move inwards. 4 and 5 are technically the strongest columns. So, that's 
how I work, if you notice that. Let's repair that scatter shot. Let's repair that scatter shot. Let's drop our landmines. And we still have some gold left over. Sweet. Alright, we have a lot of zombies everywhere. You die. Oh, am I? All right. Oh, I can kill him. I'll do that, I think. Yeah, I think that was scatter shot. Yeah, our defense is wasting them right now. Got to uh, we got hit again. Not helpful. Would you die already? <laughs> he didn't die. Uh, put a quick end to that. We just lost the scatter shot. Uh, yeah, they're dead. I don't know where he's at. Okay, that's fine. Uh, 22 gold? That's perfect. First, to replace the scatter shot. And set a catapult at 1 7. And how do I scatter shot? That's fine. Let's. Landmine one of our scatter shots again. They're everywhere. Yeah, they are getting murdered by those catapults. They are key. They are really helpful. We're actually coming close, guys, to a section where we get to a point where we're not really easily broken through. This is how I usually get to wave 50 plus. Yes, I have gotten past wave 50 before. This is the strategy that I use, so yeah, you can learn a lot from it. Who's still alive? Well, we're about to have somebody get through. Crap. Uh, die, please. Ow! Wow! That was wrong! Crap! Okay, we actually got that one. Our defense is just got a border it. Let's see. Is nothing got destroyed. Let's repair that scatter shot. Let's also drop another catapult at 77. Uh, let's replace that other scatter shot at 64. Alright, we're on with 22. And this is probably going to be the last wave we play through. We might go through one more. Wow, that's a lot of zombies. We're up to 12 zombies with 13 health. And last time it was a close call, those catapults are really helpful right now. Alright. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
hast du. We are about to get destroyed right now. I just got hit. Okay, we just lost a life and a help. That was not a plain run. That was really bad, actually. So, we're gonna drop a catapult at 2 7. And a scatter shot. And did I mention we're missing some defenses? Yeah, we're missing some defenses. I'm just looking through. We're about to lose a bunch of stuff. We better be careful. While we're still setting up our defense, it's really hard to keep up with them. Eventually we got to a point where we're fine, but right now we're definitely not there. Our next round we might have to focus on just repairing everything because our defense is almost dead. Yeah, they are still right there. Not good. Those catapults are doing some work. Yes. Also, fun fact, the catapult is the only non-modern weapon in the undead at the moment. It's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, that thing. We're actually holding them off okay this time. We're doing better than we did last phase. Good. Awesome. 28 gold. Okay. Um, our scatter shots are doing okay. That needs repairing. Let's repair our defenses. Now let's drop another catapult. Let's drop one at 5-7. Also, we have so many defenses, the game feels a little bit laggy. It's not bad, but it's there. Yeah, it's there. Okay, we're on wave 24. I think we'll play another wave and conclude shortly. Uh, I see some problems arising everywhere right now. Only three catapults fired is never a good sign, by the way. When you have seven catapults on the board and only three of them fire, that's not good at all. Does that mean they're either grouped up or staying on top? Second option is good. First one is very not, really not good. Uh, where'd they go? We just wiped out most of the <laughs> Wow, okay. Well, six catapults that time. That was much better. Yeah, they're almost... They're all about to get their butts kicked. So... Oh. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Bad, 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 very bad. Yeah, really, really bad right now. Because we have some big guys about to get... You die. Oh, crap. So, yeah, this is really not good. Okay. We 
Tasty Pods. Let's finish our own catapults at 4 7. Repair that scatter shot. Repair that one. We almost lost. I'm check. We're not missing any mortars. That's it. One health. I'm not concerned about the cannons too much right now. Okay, we're looking better. We're looking better. Well, we'll go for one more wave. Um, no, no. Two, three, four. Four zombies. <laughs> At four, one. <laughs> four, five, six catapults. You get killed already, please. This catapult makes some short work with some zombies sometimes. Right, we've cleared out the majority of the problem. We cleared out the group at four. That's good. Everything else is still a mess, but. <laughs> Yeah. All right. I see a big problem coming up right about here at five, because there are like three zombies lined up. One on one in front, two behind him. So we have to be careful. The fact that we have no cannon on five is kind of annoying. It doesn't make all the difference. Dude, come down already. <laughs> Darn you human shield zombie. <laughs> Dang it. He got through very clear. Die. We have 22 gold. We are going to spend some of this right now. Let's repair that. Um, let's fix up that mortar. Let's drop the cannon. Drop the landmine. And that fixes up our defenses for the most part. Let's put the cannon there. Alright, we're looking a whole lot better. I just repaired those two cannons and. I think we're going to conclude this here. We're not going to be able to move on to a new defense immediately next time, but that's okay. We are going to be using sniper towers in our next episode of the strategy guide, and it is going to be so much fun. Sniper towers are the best defense in the game, so yeah, we're going to have so much fun. We're getting a lot of gold, we're going to use it. So thank you for watching the Lady of the Undead strategy guide. If you have any suggestions, if you want to see anything, please let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any other videos in the Way of the Undead Strategy Guide series, any campaign walkthroughs, etc, etc. Because we do upload weekly, sometimes more than once a week. So be ready for that. And thank you for watching.